Soheb Webb had some stern words for new Muslim convert Andrew Tate. Soheb Webb said, Being part of the broader community implies the dedication to repent, learn, and reform. If Mr. Tate continues his open evil behavior, his conversion cannot be used to justify harming others and engaging in evil. Wow, really strong words there for Mr. Tate. The Ummah comes first, he says. We all agree. Andrew Tate cannot be seen as a role model if he continues his un-Islamic behavior. But he is a new Muslim. Doesn't he deserve to be welcomed and congratulated by these celebrity imams? What makes the cold attitude of Soheib Webb toward Andrew Tate so egregious is Webb's history promoting and working with all kinds of Muslim deviants, deviants who are involved with many evil behaviors. Does Soheib Webb scold those deviants for engaging in evil? Look at what he has to say for this Muslim musician, Lupe Fiasco. Anyone listen to Lupe's new album? I was impressed with his message and loved the intensity. I say that Muslim artists like Brother Ali and Lupe Fiasco have done more good for Islam this week. Lupe is my sheikh. I love him, miss him, hope he's well. I love Lupe Fiasco for the sake of Allah. Lupe killed it. Goodness Moray is a beast. Buy the uncensored version and go to the gym with it. You'll thank me later. Where can I get some of your tracks? I miss that good old hip hop like grandma used to make. So Imam Soheib really loves rap music, it seems. Look at this selfie he took with Drake and tweets it saying, Interesting moment I'll share in the future. Imam Soheib wouldn't try pushing this obscene musician onto the Muslim community, would he? Oh, come on. God's Plan, i.e. one of Drake's songs, brings to mind a number of questions about public good, charity, and service. I break that down and more from an Islamic perspective. Imam Soheib gave a sharh or Islamic commentary on a Drake song as a lesson for Muslims. Just to be clear, musicians and rappers who are involved in all kinds of haram are an inspiration to Imam Soheib. So where is the scolding? But it gets worse. According to Soheib, many women greatly impacted his life. He tweets, Muslim women who impact my life for the better, Blair Imani, Maryam Sop, Marwa Balker, Tamara Gray, Ingrid Matson. Who are these women? Blair Imani, self-identifies as queer, is a BLM activist and gives TED Talks about how there's no contradiction between being LGBT and Muslim. What a shiro! Then there's Marwa Balkar. My name is Marwa Balkar. I am a 22-year-old student in Southern California, and I went viral for responding to Donald Trump's discriminatory comments against Muslims. Wow, she posted something against Donald Trump on Facebook. What a huge inspiration for our imams and Muslims everywhere. Then there's Sheikha Ingrid. If you want more information on this heretic, watch this video on the Muslim Skeptic channel or read the article linked in the description. But things get even worse. Here is Noor Taghuri, infamous for being the first hijab-wearing Muslim to pose for Playboy magazine. Imam Soheib retweets this amazing achievement then, when people criticized him for this, Soheib says, I can attest to the goodness that is Noor Taghuri. Let's move on to some even more cringe examples. In 2016, a new web series was published called The Secret Life of Muslims. When I go to a dessert shop and I look down at my waist and then I look at the ice cream, that's jihad for me. A jihad is, you know, sometimes biting my tongue if my mom is saying something funny. Uh, jihad is trying to get that uh, girl's phone number who keeps ignoring you. How not eat all the chocolate cake. This video features a bunch of extreme liberal 
people who claim to be Muslim. The video even has an open lesbian who gives her take on Islam. Guess which Imam had no problem making an appearance on this series. There's the inner struggle, the outward struggle. There is a military component to jihad, of course. Creeping Sharia, is that the remix of that TLC song, Creep? The series was created by Seftal with the intention of fighting Islamophobia by portraying Muslims making dumb jokes about Islam, I guess. Seftal's prior experience must have helped a lot in making a series about Muslims. Hmm, I wonder who is on the advisory board for this web series. I fully support the right of people to actually insult the prophet in the United States because I think that's the best regime for human happiness. I don't, I, don't, I don't support gay marriage. I support the right to marriage for gay people. Back to Soheib. It's interesting how Soheib had such harsh words for Andrew Tate, who is just a new Muslim. Meanwhile, he has had nothing but praise and support for Fusaq and heretical Muslims who, unlike Tate, are not new converts, but really have engaged in evil behaviors for many, many years. Rather than criticize such people and correct them, Soheib Webb has praised them, promoted them, collaborated with them, and ultimately exposed the Muslim community to them, thus allowing them to more effectively spread their deviance to the Ummah at large. Maybe Soheib and other promoters of this liberalized Islam can look in the mirror and ask themselves, what have been the fruits of this hypocrisy?